the 49ers plan, you've been tweeting about this, and I, I'm passionate about this. It makes no sense. The 49ers plan. They said they needed a quarterback because Jimmy gets hurt. Then they we got need the quarterback, a quarterback and buried him on the depth chart because Jimmy all of a sudden was their quarterback. Then Jimmy got hurt and they were like, damn, we should have gotten this other guy ready. How could we have possibly foreseen this happening? Yeah. That's pretty much what happened. It is. They told us, they're like, dude, we can't win. There's this problem that exists, dude. but we, we're we going to address the problem. We are going to take steps in this draft to address the problem. And then the problem that they told us exists happens, and they're like, well, we don't have a solution to that. No. What do you mean? Like, what are you talking wait, about? Wait, wait, no, the solution we said was the solution was never the solution from the no. outset, right? He was never going to be ready. It was never reasonable to expect. You told us, you as an organization told us that this was to address the fact that you had a starting caliber quarterback who couldn't stay healthy. You said he would get injured. He yeah. did. And then the person you said you were bringing in to fix this problem, he's not ready. And there was no chance he was ever going to be ready. And it was unreasonable of us to expect that he was going to be ready. Right. It doesn't make, it's absurd, right? It, it's, it's, it's like a, a Kafka novel. It doesn't make any freaking sense. It's so, wild. So when things like this happen in football, I always, um, when things make no sense and they almost seem like sabotage, I always feel like, okay, well, there's two different things happening in the organization. And okay. the way I look at it is, again, this whole plan for this year was a front office creation. It was a John Lynch, Adam Peters, Jed York creation. Hey, because I, the way I look at it is Kyle wanted to do what Bill Belichick ended up doing, which is just draft Mac Jones and start over. Move on. And I think the Niners felt like, that's scary, man. Like, we don't really know Mac Jones that well. The fans don't want him. Uh, and Jimmy, he's just so clean. He didn't do the thing with the 100 mil. He wins. He's marketable. Instead of doing the Mac Jones thing, let's keep Jimmy and then develop Trey for the future. And I think like if if that plan gets forced upon a coach, he doesn't have the same invest. He doesn't have any investment in it. Let's be frank. He has no investment in it. So he no. can say, okay, I'll be a good soldier and do my and play my position and, and do what I'm told, but I don't have to like bend over backwards to try to make this work because I know it won't. So, oh, I didn't prepare Trey Lance that much. Oops. Oops. Hey, it wasn't my plan. As opposed to this is what I want to do and I'm going to make it work. Then you, you know, you, you turn over every stone to make sure this doesn't happen. But to me, this has all the earmarks of a coach who's been given a, a script he didn't believe in. And he's like, all right, well, see what happens. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, it's tough to know. I tend to think of Kyle Shanahan as, as more of an ultimate competitor. And I see those types of people as, as basically always being self-motivated to win. And, and so I struggle to think of him being lukewarm with a strategy, even if he had to be talked into it, I would think he would give it. He's very realistic too, though. I mean, he knows what Jimmy is and he thinks he knows what Trey is at this point. And he's looking at his, at his cards, like, okay, um, what are, what, what, are my, what are the expectations here, guys? Yeah. This is your plan. Tell me and what I'm doing wrong, John. That does tie into to how I see it, which is yeah. a failed strategy from the right. outset and the front office actively trying to sell this plan to the fan base as if it would work and, and feeling duped as a fan, feeling as if I was sold a bill of goods yeah. at the beginning of the season that they knew damn well wasn't going to work out if things went exactly how they said things were going to go with Jimmy getting injured and having to go. Because if, if you had really believed – all right, Jimmy is going to get injured. Trey is the future. Then you needed that third quarterback. You need a bridge quarterback. If you knew that Trey wasn't ready, he needed a full year to rest, but you were dead set on having him and dead set on keeping Jimmy, then you needed someone in between because you knew Jimmy was going to get hurt. Think it through, Rob. Let's say theoretically that, which has been reported, that Kyle got overruled, essentially. That he liked Trey Lance, loved Mac Jones, got overruled, this is John Lynch's uh, plan. Right. In a sense, Kyle lost a little power and standing in the organization because you got overruled by John Lynch. Okay, he's not sabotaging the season, but worst case scenario is John's plan doesn't work out. As you said, fail logic from the outset. It's John's logic. Yes. John said this could work, right? I gave it a shot. It didn't work. Who's responsible? Who has to answer for this? John. And then what's the what's the uh, the result? Well, Kyle gets more power. 
Yep. Kyle gets more power. So, oh, you overruled me? And you told me this was going to happen? Well, guess what? Now you're gone. And I'm working with Trey. And I like the idea of Trey Lance in 2022 and 2023. I'm all in for that. But this whole thing that we were doing in 2021, it was absurd from the start. It was your idea. And you're going to pay for it. Sorry. That's that could be happening right now. You you it undermined could. my power. You you made me lose face in the organization and made it seem like I didn't know what I was talking about with quarterbacks. Look at Mac Jones. Look at Jimmy. Look at you. You're back at Fox. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, like, they're cool, but Kyle got overruled and Kyle's petty and Kyle's always right. You think he's gonna lay look, he could be winning right here. Oh, your plan didn't work, John. What a freaking surprise. I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. It's entirely possible. I tended to see Lynch coming out and, and backing Shanahan more recently as as evidence of them still being on the same page. But I mean, you know, I'm I'm, I'm not Here's going down the rabbit John hole. Plan. But yeah, it it could be John trying to mend some fences as things have gone a little poorly this season. If it was in fact a plan forced on Kyle. Here's how you know it was John's plan: two different styles of quarterback. Kyle said this in 2017. What? They're at, why, why didn't you keep Colin? Well, if you have two styles, we have Hoyer and Bethard, and it, you really got to commit to something. He said this. You got to commit to something because if you've got two, then you're off. You're really doing a disservice to your offense. The whole yeah. off, the other 10 players, because they're not going to be good at either t- style of offense. And then you just, that's what he said. And yeah. that's what they created this year. a An offense that is nothing. It has no identity. It's good at nothing. It doesn't execute well because they're, you know, their time on task is split. They're split. And it's, you know, Kyle said this at the onset of his tenure, this is not how you build a team. And they do this in year five, not his plan. Yeah, Jerry. I'm not trying to give him an excuse. I think it's pretty clear though, who set this up and why the failed logic was there from the outset. It's someone else's logic. Yeah, Jerry was asked the same question and answered on that interview uh, this week, talking about he preferred, Jerry. I want to know who my quarterback is. Right. Duh. I want to know. Duh. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I, it's helpful to me as the receiver to know who's throwing me the ball week in, week out, whose team this is. That's true. Kyle's whole thing is like, well, so what are we doing? Two quarterback system? What, what are you, what are you, what are we, what are we doing here? Like, what, 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 what was I, what am I supposed to do? Tell me again. Cause there's no answer. There's no right answer here. That's why the, this whole 2021 year feel is hard, but it feels like limbo. Like, what are you, what is your, yes. what are you accomplishing? You're wasting a great effort by the defense. You don't know how long D'Amico is going to be here. He's killing it. Yeah. He's kill. I mean, you're wasting your Trent Williams, Fred Warner. Football's brutal. You don't know how long these guys are going to last. Yeah. Wasting, if you are playing for the future, wasting valuable money in keeping yeah. Jimmy around. That $27 million would certainly help in signing some key free agents next offseason. So what should they have done? Either one of the, one of two things. When you trade up to three and take a quarterback, you got to get rid of Jimmy. Yep. Bring in a bridge. Or if you want to keep Jimmy, then you don't trade up to three. One or the other. This idea of moving up to three, keeping Jimmy, and, and, and stashing the number three pick for a year is fireable. And Jed has to know whose idea that was. Fireable. I, I, I would only... I would only say that that it's acceptable if if you're straight up about it from the onset. That's where, as a fan, I feel taken advantage of, and that's why I'm irritated. That's why you can feel it coming out of me here. Is is that I feel as if they told me one thing, and, and now I'm looking at the reality of something completely different. I would have been okay going in if they had brought in that you know second string quarterback that could have played behind Jimmy when inevitably Jimmy got hurt. I would have been okay with a Trey red shirt year if i had been told that was the plan from the outset because my expectations would have been different right i would have changed them but i come in with these huge expectations 49ers are this tire fire and, and it's the delta the difference between the two that's so upsetting and again the failed logic is trying to trying to have two different styles of offense it's ridiculous yes. i mean not really per- yeah i mean so what they could have done was Gotten Trey Lance, gotten rid of Jimmy Garoppolo, and gotten a backup like Cam Newton, who is like Trey Lance. Or they could have not traded up, kept Jimmy Garoppolo, st- drafted Mac Jones at 12, and kept both of them. Sure. And if Jimmy gets hurt, had Mac Jones. I mean, and you, you could have committed to one or the other. Instead, they rode the fence. They're two and three. Their offense is the problem. They do nothing well on offense. They kick ass on defense. So we'll see what they got after the bye week. 
Yeah, the lie may have cost them significantly, man. When you look at the fact that they've given away that first round draft pick coming up, it could end up being a high draft pick this year. And that will make the trade that much more painful.